Hi, I'm Mark Israel and I'm the director of the Norris Cotton Cancer Center. Patients choose to have their treatment here, not only because of the outstanding care that they know they will receive, but also because of the research that's conducted here and our deep commitment to translating that research into the care of our patients on a daily basis. Philanthropy from patients and their families and others who are excited about our work is a very important driver and a major contributor to the success of our research programs. Today I'd like to introduce to you four young investigators who have been the beneficiaries of that philanthropy in starting their research careers and in that effort accumulating the data necessary to apply for larger grants from the federal government, national foundations, and other sources. That's someone who would benefit from these drugs. When I was young, my Grandmother was diagnosed uh, with lung cancer, and at that point there weren't good therapies available. Um, and I knew that sort of with, with better science and sort of with better advances that, that we'd be able to make progress on some of the toughest cancers. And so that's why my lab has chosen to focus on many of those. In our research, we're studying ovarian cancer in women in Uganda. Ovarian cancer in Uganda presents this really perplexing picture because the life experiences of women in Uganda and women here are so different but the overall risk uh, is very similar. So we're studying these ovarian cancers to understand sort of what makes them similar and, and what those commonalities are so we can identify better treatments. Experts tell us that by 2020, approximately 70% of cancers will actually arise in the developing world. And so this study is gonna help us provide sort of key insight on, on what's going on in cancers there so that we can be ready when that happens. But there are some cancers where you know, the Cancer Center gives us uh, people with very different expertise that can take a project through from um, basic biology all the way through uh, translational applications and treatment. And seeing that something through that whole pipeline is very exciting to me. Increasingly, we're finding that lifestyle has a lot to do with breast cancer. Uh, rates of incidence and also recurrence. So my study is, is focused on women who are getting chemotherapy for breast cancer, women who don't have an active lifestyle at the moment, and encouraging them to increase exercise during their chemotherapy. You have to take responsibility and address the issue of, of a sedentary lifestyle, of perhaps being overweight, perhaps not having the best diet, as a potential contributor to breast cancer. And if we don't address that, then we're not doing our patients a full service. I just wanted to explain the device. So each participant at the beginning of the study will be given a pedometer and an activity log. Very simple, and they will use that for daily tracking their activities. My motivation primarily comes from my patients. They often ask, what else can I do? What else can I do with my day-to-day -day life that will help me? Thanks very much. Okay, thank you. The long-term goal of my researchers is to provide um, personalized treatment and to improve the life quality of a patient with uh, cancer. So every patient with the same disease uh, actually have very different set of genes with mutation. Essentially, there are different diseases. Now, the new idea is we want to develop personalized treatment or personalized medicine so that each patient uh, can be treated in a specific manner. The final goal of my research is to provide the doctors with information about what treatment will be most effective to a specific patient. My father, my grandfather, and my uncle all died at a relatively young age of cancer, and so that showed me how devastating cancer death can be for a family. And I wanted to learn more about it and do research and help to find a cure. My laboratory works on um, how cells divide and what errors can occur if cell division doesn't occur correctly. So the long-term goal of our research is really to identify um, cancer treatments that selectively kill um, cancer cells and not normal cells so that we have chemotherapeutics that are really effectively kill cancer and have very few side effects on normal cells. The Norris Cotton Cancer Center is an amazing environment. We are working closely with physicians and scientists together. We um, share ideas and we are really able to translate our findings from the laboratory to the clinic. On behalf of all of the scientists and 
uh, physicians and other providers here at the Cancer Center, how deeply appreciative we are for all that you do for us. Thank you so much.